Uh, practice this week uh, has been well. We, we came in on Thursday, we started on Friday, um, and had three sessions on Friday, three sessions on Saturday, and have been extremely happy with the intensity of the players. Um, they're listening well, getting in and out of drills, uh, and picking up the information that we're uh, teaching them. So I've been extremely happy with that. Yeah, returning in, in, the, in the net for us is Haley Talbot. Uh, you know, she had a full year as the starting goalkeeper last year. Uh, we really worked on her this spring and trying to um, increase her intangibles in a sense of her fitness and dynamic movement so she can be a little bit more uh, dynamic in the goal. We saw some gains in her vertical jump and stuff like that. So we really think uh, she's going to take the next step for us uh, this coming fall with a year of experience last year. Uh, so we're looking for some big things from her. Uh, in the back line, we have one uh, returning uh, defender. Uh, in the back line, she was all conference, Sarah Brennan, so we're expecting her to even do better for us. She's probably going to be more of in a natural position as an outside back versus a center back this year. So we're excited to see what she's going to do for us. Uh, and in the midfield, we have Grayson's returning uh, as one of the starters. Uh, we're going to be transitioning Katie uh, from a center back to holding center mid this year. Uh, so we're excited about the opportunity for her. And then up top, we've got quite a few girls returning. Uh, probably the one that uh, gets the most uh, recognizable is probably Carrie Rager. Uh, she was first team all-conference last year, uh, all-region, so we're excited to see what she can do. But she's also going to grab a lot of attention, so uh, some other players around her are going to have to step up uh, in the sense of uh, KP, Bailey Kratz, uh, Emily Brummett, uh, and so forth. Um, um, also in midfield is Isabella Kreider. Um, you know, she was a key player for us coming off the bench last year. Uh, she really grew this spring, really trained hard this uh, coming summer, so we're looking for her to take the next step uh, on the field for us. She's got great vision, uh, so we're excited to, to see what she can add to the midfield uh, along with Grayson and Katie. Uh, yeah, I've been ex very excited about the freshmen. Uh, we got a very big class, uh, but very talented. Very excited about the, uh, their work rate. Uh, their soccer IQ is extremely high. Uh, we're not having to repeat ourselves a bunch of times. They're picking up very quickly. Um, so I'm very, very excited about that part of it. The intensity in which they're bringing to practice uh, might be the best I've had from a freshman class in my nine years at Bridgewater. So uh, the coaching staff has been very excited about that. Um, but yet there are some very dynamic players in this freshman class. Uh, and I cannot wait to see them in a game going against some competition because uh, I think they're going to make some noise for us. Uh, schedule, extremely hard this year. Uh, we tried, we knew the freshman class was going to be very good. We knew we were turning uh, some very good players from the returning group. Uh, so we really wanted to challenge uh, this particular players uh, this coming year. So we're playing, uh, I think, four of the five top teams from the CAC this year. Obviously, we have our tough schedule in the ODAC. Um, we're also playing some non-conference games against Birmingham Southern as well as center, which made it to the final four of the NCAA tournament last year. So uh, it's not going to be an easy schedule for us here. I think the girls will be up for the challenge. Uh, I'm excited to see where they go from the beginning of the year to the end of the year uh, in the sense of their growth going through this challenging schedule. Uh, yeah, the, for this year, the ODAC changed a little bit. We have an unbalanced schedule, so we're not playing everybody in uh, the ODAC this time. So it's still by points, though. So the top 10 teams are going to make the ODAC tournament this year versus eight. Uh, but it's important that we finish in the top six. The first six are going to have a bye from that new round of the ODAC. Uh, and then the quarterfinal will start uh, after that first round. So uh, if we finish in the top six, nothing's going to change for us in the sense of the amount of games we have to play in that last week of the regular season. Um, so that's what our goal is, to finish in the top six. Obviously, we'd like to be higher than the top six. Our goal is always to try to finish, get home, home field advantage for the first round of quarterfinals which means we got to finish in the top four. Um, I don't think we finished in the top four the last two years. We all know we did two years ago, and in this past year we were finished uh, tied for fourth and ended up getting fifth by draw. So uh, we got to finish a little bit higher than what we did last year. Um, I think we have the talent to do that, um, but that's kind of our goal. And then obviously the goal we set every year, um, you know, we want to win an ODAC championship, so we're always aiming for that.